head, intentionality, strategic intentionality. This stuff makes you become bulletproof in your life. Nothing can affect you. Nothing can phase you. Nothing can knock you off course. You'll have a good day every motherfucking day. No bad days, no days off. This is the secret. This is the, the keys to the kingdom of fulfillment and happiness and awesome days right here. So let me know how it goes for What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today on the episode, we're going to talk about really my foundation of everything I do every single day and something you hear a lot about, a lot about on the internet, and it's about non-negotiables. I call them daily disciplines. You can call them habits, whatever you want to call it. But first, let's just go into what this show is all about. The Steve Eckert Show is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms all while you create your own personal freak freedom lifestyle. This is all about transforming men and women from where, from where they are to where they want to be, need to be, and freaking deserve to be. We we're always constantly talking about flipping the switch, learning to weaponize everything, turning suffering into superpower, adversity into advantage. And that's really what this show is all about. We're going to dive deep into these, these daily disciplines. And I'm, I'm going off the good old notebook because this, this came about just by me doing some journaling exercises recently, some journaling drills. Someone asked me, how, how do you always, they thought it was, they think it's bullshit. They think, because most things you see on the internet are bullshit. So when I'm on the internet and on social media and Instagrams or whatever, and I'm talking about how I, I never have a bad day. First, I talk about how I don't take days off, no bad days, only awesome days and, and fucking awesomer days. And I get often asked the question, how is that possible? What are you doing to make that possible? And, and I'll tell you what, what am I doing is my daily disciplines. Basically, if I, get, if I nail down these daily disciplines, it's impossible for me to have a bad day. Like there's nothing... Nothing that could derail it. And, and most of the daily disciplines start off in the morning, in the morning routine. You've seen the, the, the previous episode about morning routines. Go check that out, all the different checkpoints throughout the day. So this is a, a series of episodes. Always you should be watching these episodes to uh, build on each other, like Lego blocks, like building blocks. And it's building, basically, it's your ultimate freak freedom lifestyle. That's what this is all about. And, and operating to dominate in your mindset, in your muscles, in your money, and in your freaking meaning. And this is those are the pillars of the Freak Father Alliance, which is the men's group coaching program that, that we've started. And if you are a man and you're looking to work on masculinity mastery, we meet every week, a live on a Zoom session. We meet every month for a live Zoom workout. And whoever's around local comes and we do it in person. Uh, it includes a full training program, the last training program that you will ever need, the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula, all included there in the program, and your kids' 13 and under get, or 16 and under get access into the Freak Fit Youth Program, all included. So just check that out. But really, this is all about what, what, what keeps me centered, what keeps me freaking lined up all throughout the day, every freaking day. It's these daily disciplines, these non negotiables. The problem is, you hear lots of people talk about on the social media there, non negotiables and all this other stuff. But the problem is, it's, they're, they're full of fucking shit. They're full of shit because you see it, but then it's not being lived out. Non-negotiables are non-fucking negotiable. It means no matter what. The problem is people take their non-negotiables and they turn them into semi-negotiables or sometimes negotiables or fairly negotiables, not daily disciplines. They're once in a while disciplines, once in a while negotiables. Whenever they feel like it, they're comfortable negotiables. That's what they are. And whenever it's good times, they, they, they stick to the non-negotiables, but not when it's rough days. Now on the rough days, and that's ass backwards because the entire purpose of having all these habits and daily disciplines and non-negotiables, the whole purpose is to do them and practice them and build up them as, as weapons, as, as a foundation 
so that you're doing it in peacetime, so that when wartime comes, when the chaos comes, when the craziness comes, you have these strategies and tactics as tools in your tool belt, as weapons in your armory to go and fight those battles. But the problem is people only do their non-negotiables during, it's pretty messed up little, whatever that thing is called, quotation marks. They only do their non-negotiables during peacetime. And then they say, oh, I didn't have time to whatever, fill in the blank, meditate or work out or whatever the hell the, the, the daily habit is. I didn't have time to do it because I was traveling, because I was sick, because there was a death in the family. There was an earthquake. The, the, it was an alien invasion. It was the apocalypse, the, the freaking zombie apocalypse. Whatever excuse is, listen up. You only do those things so when the fucking zombie apocalypse happens, you have them to use to get you through it. That's what's going to keep you centered when it comes time to go to battle for those tough days, for those days that aren't the easy, slow days that you're used to. That's the only reason we freaking do those at all, really. Otherwise, you don't need them on the slow days. You're And the problem, you're doing it ass backwards. You're only using them on the slow days. So for me, my daily disciplines, I, I, really, I really can narrow them down into five or six if I condense them together. But just to make it a little more fun and a little more spaced out so it's more specific, might actually into 13 categories. And these are different than the time blocks. If you've taken any of our online courses, you know there's one on scheduling mastery. Those are different time blocks. Some of them coincide and some of them are overlapping fields of fire of the non-negotiables. But the daily disciplines are just single words. They're 13 single words. And yes, again, some of them could be freaking combined together. But these are the things that if I do these things, it's impossible for me to have a bad fucking day. If I do these things, I guarantee I'm going to work through the peaks and valleys in life. If you watch the other one on emotional discipline, we're talking about the peaks and valleys. This is how you stay centered is these daily discipline. This is exactly the cheat code to freaking life. How to work through the ups and downs. Like there's days where I've lost tens of thousands of dollars in a single freaking day. And it's these things. It's trusting the process, having that discipline to hold the fucking line. Hold the motherfucking line when you know that you're on the right path. You know you're going to continue doing the things that got you there. Through the ups, through the downs. You're not going to get too high and complacent on the ups. You're not going to get too down and, and down out and depressed and making irrational decisions on the downs. So let's start breaking, breaking these down. And the, and the first, so first of all, I'll read through the, the words for you and then we'll break them down because I want you to see how simple it is to think about checking in with this stuff and checking the boxes and how every one of these things, when I break them down, it is freaking free. And every one of these could be done anywhere in the world. It could be done in an empty elevator for the most part, except for the sun. One of them is sun, meaning get outdoors. Or every one of these could be done in prison or no matter what the case. If you're in a hospital bed, every one of these things can be done. And this is how you operate to dominate in your mindset, in your money, in your muscles, in your meaning. And let's, I'm just going to run through the 13 words real quick. And so first off is think. Number one is think. Then there's think, breathe, read, write, speak, play, fear, connect, move, rest, faith, sun, fuel, and freak. So those are the actually 14 words, non-negotiables. And they, I did, again, I spread them out into more. I could even put those into fewer and some of them can be like kind of subcategories under each other. But I wanted to really break it down for you to see how you should be thinking about your freaking day and the things that you could do every day. And these are, there's no excuse not to do these things. Think about it. All right, the first one, number one, think. You can't fucking think every day. And what does think mean? It doesn't just mean just sit there and, and fucking daydream and whatever else and wish and hope and dream, but it means meditate. It means visualize. It means pray. It means having gratitude. And we did a whole entire episode on gratitude. And there's actually a new level of gratitude, a new episode I'm, I'm coming up on that we're going to work on for gratitude that's going to freaking blow you away. It has to do with, a lot to do with uh, faith and following the different signs that show up in your life. There's an episode on that coming up real soon. It, it's fucking awesome. But that's what think is. Think means meditate. You're using your freaking mind, using your brain. Meditate, visualizing, visualizing your goals, visualizing where you're headed, what you need to be getting done, visualizing your priorities, praying. If you're into religion or faith, prayer is, is your thinking. That's what we're saying, think. And then gratitude, those higher, deeper levels of gratitude where the gratitude is a life force. It's an energy. It's a practice. And right off the bat, just that think right there sets a fucking tone for the rest of them. Like it is hard to get off track. If you nail those four things down right there within the thing category, 
So you see this could even be more than 14, but it also could be less, but we're going to stick with 14 for now. Think freaking simple. Number two is breathe. All right, I don't need to spend too much time breathing, but just learn how to control your breathing, how to control your heart rate, how to control your oxygen and not freaking, not freak the fuck out. So it follows right after breathe. So technically the breathe could have fell under the think category, but I wanted it separate. Because I wanted you to think breathe, like get, learn how to control your breathing because that's going to help you control your emotions, control your reactions, control how you think. It's all interconnected. Control your freaking breathing. You can go on YouTube. There's tons of different ways to breathe. It's not that fucking difficult. You don't need to be a, a rocket scientist to learn how to breathe. You've been doing it ever since the fucking day you were born. So keep breathing, but just learn to control it. Learn to have steady, strong, smooth, calm, controlled breathing, especially during those times of chaos. Just practicing it in the morning during your meditation time and then abandoning it and not using it when it's time to go to war is ass backwards. All right, the next one is read. So think, breathe, and read. Obviously read, reading books, an actual book, like you, you can't see over here, but there's a full library of books over here, hundreds and hundreds of books, half that I've read, half that I'm still reading. It's just soaking up knowledge every freaking day. And there's another small little library over my thinking corner over here, a different category of books. And then another library out in the living room, like the family library. And then another one upstairs, which is the kids library. Like, un, like un, you should be nonstop addicted to reading. Like, listen, there's, there's some of these books here that some dude has in 300 pages He's, first of all, more successful, probably making more money, more fulfilled than all of us that are w listening to this right now combined. And you can get three to four decades of, of knowledge and experience and growth and development from this individual in 300 or 400 pages. Sign me the fuck up. Sign me up. I need all the help I can get in the, in the knowledge and smarts department. So read. Have to do it every day. Some form of reading. And... See, I'm not, knows I'm not saying any times on here. Now, I do have a reading time block on my calendar every day. I do morning reading with like part of morning routine, but that's not in my reading time. Then there's actual reading time on the, on the schedule. But it doesn't matter. Reading, reading books, learning, studying, just getting smarter, like smart time, putting it on the freaking calendar. Even if it's just a few minutes, reading something every freaking day. And right behind that is writing. Writing, right? Like I said, here's one of my journals. I have a couple different types of journaling. We, we could do a whole separate show on journaling. Maybe we will do that. Take a note here to do a show on journaling because that would be, that would be huge for you. There's so many different techniques and prompts that I use for journaling that have, have helped out. And that's how I came across this episode. Like thinking, what is it that makes me stay in the green, which we mean staying focused, maintaining my bearing and having a good day every fucking day? What is it that creates it? So I don't have, so you have unwavering, freaking discipline all day and have a, a good day every fucking day. Like, what is it that's causing that? And that's what I came up with, these 14 words. And write is in there. That means journaling, writing down. And, and one journal is with prompts with, with, for the day. Another one, this one is just a blank book where I write deeper thoughts and, and breakdowns and reflections and shit like that. Journal about your day. I don't want to call it a diary because we're men. We don't have fucking diaries, but journal about your day. Journal about your ideas. Also, writing could be in emails. It could be a social media post. It could be writing down your goals. It could be writing your words of the year, your themes, your mantras. And there's a whole nother episode coming out on mantras also. You could have a whole thing on, of, of, of mantras, your affirmations. This is writing. This is all writing. A brain dump is writing. Just dumping the shit to get out of your mind, get this weight off your shoulders. That's writing. Every day, some form of writing. It takes a, a fucking piece of paper and a pen. None of this shit is expensive. All this shit is easily accessible and damn near pretty much free. The next one, right, right behind that, we, we said read, write, and now speak. Goes in that little category together. Speak. That all could have been kind of bu bu bunched up together, but speak meaning talking, getting practice. Like right now, I'm speaking. This is something speaking. I'm getting words out, using your mind, using what you might have, have thought about and what you might have read about and what you might have wrote about, and now actually speaking it. And speaking, having meaningful conversations with people fucking important in your life, and, and teaching, and listening. Also, speaking could be some of the stuff you've written. You could speak out loud those mantras. You could talk about your goals. You could speak in a video, in a social media post. You could speak to your family, your kids, every day. 
like meaningful conversations, teaching. You could just, just venting could be speaking. There has to be some form of verbal communication every day. And, and the next is play. Now, play is just having fun. Like, if you don't have something to get excited about every fucking day, like, what is the point? Why are, why are you even building this fucking empire? Why are you doing what you do the way you do it if you don't have anything to get excited about? Something to light the fucking fire under your ass. Shit to laugh about. Talk shit about. Like, I constantly talk shit. I am a shit-talking motherfucker. I will talk shit all day. I'll be sarcastic. I'll be cracking jokes at a dude's funeral. Like, have fun. Laugh. Talk shit playing with the kids, playing with the dogs, playing board games, playing video games. There's got to be some fucking fun in the day. The play is just fun. And on the flip side of that, there's got to be some fear. The next one is fear. There's got to be something scary or challenging or hard or something is with some suffering into it, doing hard shit, basically. That fear, something uncomfortable, something that you're maybe not good at, something that's going to challenge you, going to push you and pressure you, that fear. Think about that. You have all these things already. Just these things are already enough and we're going to add a few more to it. And the next one right behind that is, is connect. Connecting, and it goes back to those, the, the speaking. You see a lot of these are connected together. Con- connecting to your family, to your spouse, to your kids, to your fucking self. Connecting with the animals. You got these little freak show dogs over here and all kinds of these pets and animals. Connecting with them. Connecting with the outdoors. Connecting with, the, with nature. Connecting with the fucking the, 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 the air. Connecting with the freaking universe, with God, whatever your higher power is, whatever your higher calling is, connecting with your, your purpose, your reason, your higher, higher calling, whatever that is for you. Like that's connection that we're talking about. It could be on a base level of connection with yourself, could be with other people, and then could be on that next dimensional connection talking about the universe and, and God and whatever else. After connect is move. I need to move every day. We did a whole entire episode about why I work out every day. You can go listen to that one. There's going to be tons of things in there that, that it probably have some aha moments and breakthrough there, breakthroughs there. But I need to move every day. And whether that move means if you're not going to work out every day, like I'm training, literally training every day, I need to move. Like I have this hernia surgery that I need to get fixed. And I'm, I'm, first thing I'm telling the doctor when we have the conversation is that I'm going to work out every day after the surgery. So you need to... Not tell me that I can't do it because I'm going to do it. So in order for me to do it at least semi-safely, you need to let me know some of the things I can or can't do, which I definitely avoid. What could I try? What could be a possibility? Because it's going to happen. So at least guide me in my own fucking stupidity. But it's because stupidity because I need to move every fucking day. Whether that's working out, if you're not working out every day, walking, stretching, doing some fighting or martial arts, jujitsu, boxing, kickboxing, lifting weights, running, biking, hiking. You got to fucking move. You got to get your blood flowing. It's a non-negotiable. To me, it's a daily discipline. It's like, I need that win every day. First of all, I need to, not even what I'm getting out of it, it's what I'm releasing, what I'm getting rid of when that happens. I need to be moving every day. It just needs to happen. It's a, it's a guaranteed win every day also. That's why these things, when they happen, makes it be an awesome day every fucking day. I just finished right before we came on here. I just finished a workout from the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula, the last training program they ever need. And, and if you need to find a new program to try out, there's a way to move every day. That work, that program is actually designed that you can train seven days a week safely doing professional workouts. You can actually create your own workouts on there or there's pre-made workouts on there. It pops right into your calendar every day, seven days a week. So you know exactly what to do, how to do it, when to do it. The videos are ready to go along with it. It just integrates with your Google Drive and your Google Sheets and your Google Calendar all combined together. Not just some generic trainerized crap that you see all the experts nowadays using, the so-called experts in the fitness industry. So I need to move. And it's, it's no coincidence that I don't have a before picture. I've never, I don't have any before picture. I've never been fat. I, I've literally been fairly fit, lean and ripped and, and have abs 12 months out of the year for the last two and a half decades. So if you want to hear, if you want to know how you can move every day and have those type of results, just check out the infinite freak fitness formula. formula. I'll put the, the link down there in the, in the show notes. You could check that out along with the, the Freak Father Alliance men's group coaching program. I'll put that down there too. So check those two things out. The next one after move is the flip side of that. And I hate, I kind of hate the word, but rest. So in order for me to be able to train every day and for me to be able to move every day and do all these other things, 
with excellence. Don't forget, you want to do these things with excellence. You're not doing this shit just to check a fucking box. Most people do that stuff. They have their their daily disciplines or the things they're going to do every day. Their their little challenge they're doing online of a, a certain amount of days they're going to do some basic activities. And they just go through the motions. They half-ass it just to check the fucking box. We're not just checking boxes here. We're going all in, all out, all the motherfucking time. That's what daily disciplines are about. That's what these habits are about. That's what non-negotiables are about. But in order to operate, to dominate at that type of level in your mindset, in your fitness, in your business, in order to do that, there has to be rest. And I hate the word, but we're going to use it because it's, I wanted the shortest. I was trying to make them all four letter words. They're all four to five-ish letter words. Maybe a little more like connect is a little more. Speak is a five letter word. Breathe was six. Think, uh, think, breathe. So they're mostly four to five, some were six, but I want to keep them very short and simple and succinct and straightforward to the point and memorable and fucking doable. So rest, there needs to be regeneration time. There needs, you need to have energy management throughout your day. The way, and all these other things, if you think about it, thinking, breathing, reading, writing, speaking, playing, those are all forms technically of rest and regeneration and energy management. These are all helping you recover and re, be, be like revived and rejuvenated for, for the next day, as long as you do these things. So that rest needs to also happen. That, that's, that maybe could be transitions in between different, different tasks you're doing throughout the day. It could be a, a break you have in the middle of the day and whatever rest means for you, there needs to be rest. It, means, it just means recovering, energy management, slowing down, stopping if needed during the day for a short specific amount of time, rest. And right behind rest, is faith. Faith in yourself, faith in the process, faith in the universe, faith in other humans, faith in your own values, your character in doing the right fucking thing, faith on the the path that you're headed, that you know you're heading in the right direction for the way that you're doing things. Faith in that higher power, the higher calling we we're talking about. Faith in God or whatever you want to, whatever it works for you. Faith in the universe, in the higher power, your creator, however you want to call it, but having faith, but also faith in yourself, faith in other people, faith in the freaking universe, faith in your character and the way you operate and the way you do shit. You got to have that every day. Think about it. It's fucking free. It's fucking free. The next one is also free. It's the only one that's like, a little on the borderline of can't get done if you're, I, I, I want to say if you're stuck in an empty elevator, is the sun. Like get your pasty ass outdoors. Get some fucking vitamin D. Let the sun hit your fucking skin. I don't care if it's winter time. Get out, get some fresh air, get some sun, breathe it in. And this could be, con- this could be connected with a lot of those other things. Think about it. Thinking, can you go outside and get some sun and think? Yes, you can. Can you go outside and breathe? Yes, you can. Can you read? Yes, you fucking can. You can write. You could speak. You could play. You could f- do something hard. You could connect with other people. You can move. You could even fucking rest. You could practice your faith all outside. Not hard. Not hard to combine this shit together. These things are force multipliers when you could bang out a few of these, these things together. So speaking, think about it. Speaking and, and connecting. Even while moving, let's say you're going for a hike, you're speaking, connecting with other people while you're moving, connecting with your family, your friends, while you're outside. Like a lot of these can be combined together. That's why it's not that fucking hard. That's why it's easy to to get all these done. I don't want to say fucking check the boxes, but son, get your pale ass outside. All right. Next one is fuel. Having proper fuel. There's always a way that you could eat healthy and eat the right shit. You know when you're stuffing a double McWhopper with bacon in your fucking face that you shouldn't be eating that shit. So eating clean and creating clean energy, clean fuel is needed to make all this other stuff happen. This is how I'm able to train every day. This is how I'm able to have a good time every day, a good day every day, an awesome day every day, how I'm able to have no bad days and no fucking days off. It's these daily disciplines, these non-negotiables. That's what this is about. And finally, the 14th one is freak. That is the freak. And there's a whole entire episode, separate episode on freak, the breakdown of the freak, what it means, what it's all about, how to be your freak self. But that's exactly what it is. Being yourself, being your freak self. You're living with your own personal self-expression, doing what makes you fucking happy, living according to your values and what's important to you and marching to the beat of your own drum, doing shit your way, not conforming to the bullshit, like actually just being yourself. Like that's needed every day 
to have a good day, to get through the bullshit, to get through, through the drama, to get through the emergencies, to get through the fucking wars and the battles, and when life kicks you in the nuts and kicks dirt in your fucking face and you're down. These are the strategies and tactics that are going to get you through those hard days, those tough times, those emergencies, those times you're traveling, those times you're at war, those times of chaos and craziness. These are the strategies, the tactics, the tools, and the weapons that are going to get you through those times every single day, and it's going to help you to actually create create an awesome day every freaking day so that you'll have no bad days and no days off, and every day is just awesome and freaking awesomer. Those are the 14. And just to quick, quickly recap them, it was think, breathe, read, write, speak, play, fear, connect, move, rest, faith, sun, fuel, and freak. Now, to kind of tie these up all together and wrap it up, I want to I wanna just break down how, how you should be thinking about these things. So everything I just said, think of those together, your daily disciplines, as, as kind of your primary weapons. So first off, those 14 things going all in, all out, all the time. They're very strategic and intentional about them. You're intentional about those every day. Because no one can take those fucking things away from you. They're all free and they're all effective and they all will give you an awesome day every day. So think of those as your primary weapon. They're used every day, no matter what. Like Think of it as like your rifle, your, your, your primary weapon, your foundation, your basics, your fundamentals. But then you have to think of, in addition to those, all right, what secondary weapons do you have at, at, at use in your armory, in your toolbox? With secondary weapons and tools that you use as needed and situational. Think of like uh, something, your rifle is your primary weapon, but then your secondary is your pistol, but also secondary tools like an ax when you need to chop something down or a grenade when you need to make something go boom or a crowbar when you got to open something up. Stuff that you're not necessarily using every day, but stuff that's going to serve you situationally in certain situations. Think of things in, that, that we're talking about. Think of like an ice bath for me. I'll give you my example. an ice bath or a cold shower or a sauna or going for a car ride, or going for a bike ride, going for a walk. I don't really take naps, but that would fit into this category. If you're a napper, taking a nap, not for me, but some people, whatever. Going for a hike. Those would be the secondary weapons. Things that I'm not necessarily doing every day, but there is value to them, and there is a place for them, and you need to use them as needed throughout, like situationally throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month and year. So have those secondary weapons to pull out of your tool belt when you need a specific job to get done. Those things will help you. Like I don't do an ice bath every freaking day. I do it when I feel the need for it, when I need to pull that weapon out for that specific battle. If there's, if there's extra, whatever, strain, soreness, pain, injuries, whatever, I just don't do it every day. If for you, ice bath is a daily weapon thing, a daily discipline thing, that's fine. Put it in there for you. You take these things and you figure out what works for you. I'm not saying take my words and what I use. This is give you the, the, I'm just giving you the framework, giving the idea. So the framework is have those primary weapons, have those secondary weapons that you use situationally, and then you need to have the big boys. You need to have the WMDs, the weapons of mass freaking discipline, the specialty weapons for special occasions, the fucking nukes that you're going to be dropping bombs when needed. When the primary and the secondary need some fucking reinforcements. This is during the emergencies or the major shifts in life where so, you just need some drastic fucking firepower. This is things like we're talking about like voluntary suffering and challenges or maybe you're running a marathon, manufacturing adversity. For me, it's, it's 24-hour challenges that I, that, I, that I do on a regular basis. It's when we run the project, like we just had a class of the project last week. Those are my nukes. Those are the big events that are like, a reshock to the system, like fucking explosive, where it's like a reset and a reshock. When we drive across the country, things like that, big, nasty, scary challenges that are just boom, and they're just resetting you. And when you're done with them, it's just like back on track or even at a higher level, taking things to the next level. That's what you need to think about it. Like, think of something like I did recently was staying up all night with Tyson. We stayed up all night for like two weeks in a row. Building a business, building the infinite freak fitness formula that I told you about earlier. You need to check that out. It is a fitness training program like none other. And it actually comes included with your freak father alliance, men's mentorship, masculinity mastery group coaching program. It comes included. 
And once you have access, you literally get access to the free formula, the fitness training program, the last training program, program you ever need. You get access to it in your first week, right? The second you sign up for the Freak Father Alliance group coaching, you get access to the training program. And once you have access, you have access for life. So you literally could do just one month, you get that thing included free, or you could just get the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula separately by itself. You could just get that alone. Also, if you're not in the coaching program, you could just buy that separately. But check those two things out. I'll put the links to both of those down there in the, in the notes. But staying up all night building a business, that is a weapon of mass discipline. And really, those bigger nuclear weapons, only, you're only gonna, they're only going to be possible after you've, done all the, all, all the, after you've done the daily disciplines every day, the non-negotiables all the time, and you have mastered the art of the secondary weapons as needed. That's, those are the skills and tools and strategies. And, and I'm thinking of like the tech, those, that's the technology that's building that nuclear bomb. So when you need it, you have that weapon to call upon. You can't just have a nuclear bomb out of nowhere. You got to manufacture that, put it together. That's that manufacturer version we're talking about. And think about it in those three tiers. Your daily disciplines, your primary weapon, everyday stuff. Your secondary weapon, situationally, that you use when called upon, when needed, once in a while. And then your boom, the couple times a year, the bombs that you need to get dropped. And all of these things combined. But really, daily disciplines is all you need. It's just good to have those other things as reinforcements. But though your daily disciplines, whatever they are for you. I want to see down in the comments, what are you going to, what are you going to be adding in for your primary weapons, your daily disciplines? What are going to be your secondary? What are going to be your WMDs, the weapons of mass discipline. I want to hear about it, but I tell you, even if you just follow my words and do those words, those 14 words every day, take it fucking serious with intentionality. I want you to let that fucking word drill into your head. Intentionality, strategic intentionality. This stuff makes you become bullshit bulletproof in your life. Nothing can affect you. Nothing can phase you. Nothing can knock you off course. You'll have a good day every motherfucking day. No bad days, no days off. This is the secret. This is the, the keys to the fucking kingdom of fulfillment and happiness and awesome motherfucking days right here. So let me know how it goes for you. Put down in the comments, what are your daily disciplines? What are your non-negotiables? And stop bullshitting and stop calling them non-negotiables when you're fucking only doing them when you want to be comfortable. Non-negotiable means every day, no matter fucking what. And that's where you need to live. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what you come up with for your non-negotiables. I want to hear all about it. I want to try some of them out. Let's make it happen. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. Ain't no motherfucker in this world could do it like me. Open up your eyes and insert a little rising.